Hey everyone and welcome to the King of Shadows 1111 YouTube channel. This is Queen of Light 1111 here with your Divine Masculine reading. We had some very, very interesting readings that came, set of energies that came up in the Queen of Light 1111 video reading um, that we just channeled. And now we're going to be taking a look at Divine Masculine's karmic pattern or karmic connection. And we're going to, you know, connect it back to masculine and feminine's energy. So I still have those cards out. Interestingly enough, but not surprising, the bottom of the deck is the devil card. Of course it is. It's karmic. There's toxicity. There is an energy here where there is a false sense of happiness. Someone who's stuck in a situation and is in a state of crisis. But it was part of their destiny. It was part of the karmic plan for this masculine to be involved in this karmic pattern or karmic cycle. It was, it was meant to happen. It was part of destiny. And it was so that crisis would be created for mastery to occur, for a lesson to be learned. And so this karmic pattern or karmic cycle was necessary, is necessary for masculine to learn his lessons. Right? You can't be with the divine feminine if you're still stuck in a karmic pattern divine feminine is breaking out of her karmic cycles and her karmic patterns and any you know codependency issues or any sort of toxicity she had we don't see these types of cards show up in divine feminine's readings anymore she doesn't have these obsessive thoughts or behaviors anymore she's very focused on balance and release and so here for divine masculine bottom of the deck for the karmic connection or situation or relationship we see that he's stuck potentially in a union or he's stuck in a false sense of security a false sense of happiness and joy and that is so that their crisis can be created but it's toxic it's karmic could be just purely sexual what is his overall energy towards the karmic two swords i'm not committing i'm not committing to this connection I'm not moving forward in this connection temperance card. I'm not focused on harmonizing and healing and reconciling and having a new beginning. What am I thinking when I think of this karmic? I want to walk away from any future movement, any sort of harmony. I want, I want peace, but I don't want to move forward in this connection. I want to walk away from any sort of future planning. In the heart space, we've got the Hierophant card and the Knight of Cups. In the heart space, in Masculine's heart space, as related to the Karmic, he's tied himself into this connection. Ten of Cups at the bottom of the deck, Hierophant card here. He knows he's been in this energy where he has, you know, committed himself, right, through his distortion. But now he's no longer wanting to commit, no longer wanting to harmonize and heal to have a new beginning. He wants to walk away from any sort of future with this person. But in his heart space, he knows. He's like, oh man, I'm in this. I followed my heart. But now, I'm just in this energy where I just want to go out. I just want to date. I want to be out in a community. I want to just do something different. I want to now move forward, not in a traditional connection, but just something much looser than that with this karmic, maybe friendship. Ten of Pentacles, it's all about money. Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. They built, they've been in this connection for a while, but it was surrounded around money. There was something around finances here, and he's trying to hold on to his money, and he's trying to hold on so that he doesn't lose any sort of, you know, finances. He's trying to be strong. He doesn't want to lose his resources. But there is this abundance he's very much trying to hold on to. And that is why he continues to stay in this connection. Is it about love? Not when you got the Eight of Cups here. Especially walking away from any sort of future. And harmony. It's not the Two of Cups. When you got the Two of Swords, you don't want to commit to this connection. Oh, by the way, if you guys want to book your own personal reading, coaching session, or healing session with me, go to queenalight1111.com. 
And if you guys want to join the Soul Circle, don't forget that you can by clicking on the link in the description box of this video. And if you want to learn more about the Soul Circle, there is a video that I'm going to attach at the end of this video. So it just feels like Divine Masculine, his energy towards the karmic is, I'm stuck. I have attached myself to something toxic. I have attached myself to something where I was only feeding my flesh, feeding my ego, feeding my own toxic behaviors. And it was faded and it was destined, but boy, is this a cross to carry. Is this a burden to carry? And so when he's in his overall energy towards the karmic, he's like, yeah, I'm not committing. I'm not committing to this energy of harmonization for a new beginning. I don't want to harmonize this connection. But remember, we had temperance at the bottom of the card, the bottom of the deck for masculine here with the three of swords. He's got the two of swords with the karmic, the three of swords with feminine. He wants to heal the connection with his feminine. He's working on that. But there's no desire to heal or move forward even with the karmic. There is this energy though of holding on to money. There is a money thing going on here. So when I said, all right, well, what's the energy of the connection between the masculine and the karmic, the fool card? It's like this new cycle, again, being in and out, in and out, just driven by passion, di di driven by sexual energy. We got the devil card at the bottom of the deck. That's truly what it is. It's just purely physical, purely physical, and thinking that's love. That's not love. Purely physical, I'm holding on to money. We're having sex. We're in the energy. We're not even intimate. Intimate. It's just physical. It's all about money. I don't want to commit. In my heart space, I'd rather do something different. I'd rather keep it casual. So I said, okay, well, where is this connection headed? Nine of Cups. Queen of Cups and the Whip. Where did we get the Queen of Cups? In his overall energy towards feminine. Queen of Cups. We also got the Nine of Cups somewhere, I feel like. Let me see here. No, 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 no. Um, oh, here, in the connection for masculine and feminine. He's planning for what he wishes for, and he's trying to solution it. And so where is the connection? And we got the whip here in his environment, right? For there's this clarity that he has created the issues in the past. So where is the karmic connection headed? This wish of divine feminine, it's gonna create havoc with this karmic. I feel like masculine is going to tell this karmic, I, it's not you, it's not you, you're not in my heart. My wish, my emotional fulfillment, my heart is with my Queen of Cups. Who's the Queen of Cups? This is Divine Feminine in her heart space. And in his overall energy, Masculine's overall energy towards Feminine, Queen of Cups. So here, that's the thing. Masculine is trying to prepare to say, "I, you're not the one. You're not the one, Karmic. And it will happen. That's where their connection is headed. This wish is the Queen of Cups. It's going to create a fight. It's going to create some harsh conditions with their connection. And that's why when I said, where is masculine and feminine's connection headed? We got this energy of they're headed into union because he's starting to see that he's the problem. That's a trip. I love this because you know what? Mercury retrograde is over. We are in the shadow period. So we're dealing with some of our shadow energies. But it feels like masculine is really starting to see that he's the problem, that the that the um, issues that have are created, you know, um, the issues that occurred in his connection with feminine were greatly manifested by him, and he's starting to see both sides. And feminine, the beautiful feminine, is balancing her Queen of Swords and Queen of Cups energy, and she's letting masculine go. She's letting masculine go because that is the right thing to do for her on her spiritual journey. And that is allowing masculine to not be stifled with the energy of feminine holding on to him. He's starting to see how he's holding on to the karmic. Feminine's release of masculine is allowing masculine to release the karmic. Do you guys see how this works? 
Continue to release with that expectation of masculine coming forward. Release him because he's not good for you right now. Release him because he's not participating in the connection right now. Release him because you deserve joy. You deserve love. You deserve happiness. You deserve truth. You deserve to be chosen because you chose you. And when you fully release that karmic pattern and cycle within yourself, masculine will release this karmic pattern and cycle that he has in the 3D that he is working on. And it will transition us back into this union energy. Two of Cups. I hope this reading has helped. If you guys want to book your own personal reading, coaching session, or healing session, go to queenalight1111.com. Have a wonderful day. Bye.